In the Rhino Report tonight, the FBI released the annual hate crimes report this week, but it is missing data from some of the largest states, including here in California, New York, and Florida. So while the FBI report shows hate crimes decreased in 2021, that is just not true. Yeah, our political reporter Morgan Reiner has been digging into this. So why did this happen, Morgan? Why did so many law enforcement agencies not provide data to the FBI? Chris and Laura, only 65% of law enforcement agencies across the country provided data. That's down from 90% the year before, and it's because the FBI transitioned to a new database, a database that appears only the police departments in the San Diego area are up to speed on. The FBI recorded 7,300 hate crimes in 2021, but data from cities like Los Angeles and New York were not included. It changes the narrative entirely. Just if we put in New York City and California alone, which would make 2021 the second worst year since data has been collected since 1991. Brian Levin is the director of the Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism at California State University, San Bernardino. California was shown by the FBI to have only 73 hate crimes and only 15 out of 740 agencies actually participated. The 15 that did participate concentrated in the San Diego area. So incomplete as to be inadvertently deceptive. Levin Center creates its own hate crime database from public information requests and information that state agencies have available online. Jewish people in America, the top two places where they live, New York City and Los Angeles, both aren't counted. Just in LA and New York City, we, we had 287 and a record for anti-Asian up 224%, but you won't see it in the FBI data. California law enforcement agencies do provide the data to the California Department of Justice, but the FBI switched over to a new database and they will only accept data if it's in the new format. The California Department of Justice said to date, nearly 600 reporting agencies have completed the transition and are in the process of becoming certified by our office. The California DOJ said in the last few months alone, they've doubled the amount of agencies who have transitioned over and are in the process of being certified. Levin said in the future, this database will actually be a good thing because it does break down the data down in a better format. But he wants the FBI to go back and fix the report when they get all of the data. Especially because when you consider a lot of people like policymakers rely on this information for funding priorities and so many other things, what did Levin say about that? That's a great point, Chris, but mm -hmm. he said that we're lucky we have his group, groups like Stop mm -hmm. AAPI Hate, the Anti-Defamation League. A lot of these leagues, leagues request that information on their own, put out reports on their mm -hmm. own. But again, you're right, a lot of people do rely on that national data from the FBI to track national trends. Mm -hmm. Our Morgan Reiner with this concerning topic for us tonight. Morgan, thank you.